All right, in today's video, I'm just going to take a, a quick look at the long term chart for gold. Um, people get um, frustrated and despondent when we're in the declining phase of the eight year cycle, and they convince themselves that um, gold can never go up and they'll never make any money uh, in the precious metals market. And, and this is just wrong. Um, moves down into an eight year cycle low. Uh, provide an opportunity uh, to buy and to accumulate in preparation for the next eight year cycle. So, um, you know, the, the, the chart of gold in the metals market is not nearly as uh, bleak as what many people uh, have led themselves to believe. So <clears throat> from the period of 1980 till, till, um, oh, about 2001, gold was in, a long-term secular bear market. Uh, we had the bubble top in, in 1980. <clears throat> Gold um, spiked to about $850. And then uh, for the next uh, 20 years, it, it just uh, chopped and, and gradually moved down until we got that bottom, kind of a double bottom um, in 99 and 2001 at <clears throat> 250 bucks, give or take. And then um, that uh, set up the next secular, the beginning of the next secular bull market. And we're still in that secular bull market. Um, and it, it kicked off with a very strong bull phase from uh, 2001 uh, to the top of the, um, the second eight year cycle. This is the top of the first eight year cycle. Uh, came here in uh, 2008 at about um, a little, little over a thousand dollars, and then we got a move down into the uh, eight-year cycle low. Again, this is where people got very despondent, very frustrated with gold, and really all gold did was uh, the the D um, D wave decline. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just came down and, and tested the prior C wave top right here. So nothing unusual at all had happened. And then we got the second um, part of that strong bull phase. Uh, and gold went uh, all the way up to uh, $1,900. Uh, and then we got our cyclical, not secular, cyclical bear market. Um, and the D wave decline uh, of course, lasted much longer this time than, than this D wave decline. This was uh, over fairly quickly in about a year. This, this D wave decline uh, went from um, late 2020 or 2011 all the way until um, the, the very tail end of 2015. So four years moving down into this um, D wave decline. Uh, cyclical bear market and you can see it didn't do anything uh, out of the ordinary from what the uh, previous D wave did it just came down and tested that prior C wave top so nothing you know really out of the ordinary uh, and now this is <clears throat> this is where people are getting frustrated um, they uh, the, the gold market is not doing what they want it to do and, and granted, there's, there's plenty of manipulation going on in the metals market. Um, the, the Fed and, and government central banks are trying to fight inflation. They are going to try and suppress gold as much as humanly possible. That's the last thing they need uh, in the effort to fight inflation is for the <clears throat> gold market to uh, start to get some upward momentum. But if you take a step back and look at this, rationally uh, all that is happening since that uh, top back here in in 2011 is that this um, this move down into the eight-year cycle low and then the the advancing phase of this eight-year cycle which i think i think this was the top of the eight-year cycle we're in the declining phase has just um it's just forming a very big consolidation uh, but there's there's no evidence that the secular bull market is over. 
Uh, gold uh, did not make a lower low, so that this eight-year cycle low did not drop below this eight-year cycle low, and and the advancing phase of this eight-year cycle was able to make a higher high. Uh, it didn't make you know it it didn't give us a strong bull phase, but it did make a higher high. So there's no evidence at all that the secular bull market is over, and I think there is very little chance that. The, this move down into the eight-year cycle low is going to come down here and drop below uh, the, the 2015 eight-year cycle low. And that's, that's what would be required for um, me to, to um, change my opinion and say that no, gold is now uh, in a secular, long-term, multi-year um, probably multi-decade bear market, we would, we would have to change this pattern of, of higher highs and lower lows, or, or higher lows. That's what we're getting right now. And there's no evidence at this time that that, that is even remotely possible. Um, we're, just, we're just in a consolidation phase. And remember the rule, the bigger the base, the higher in space. So once, once we get a breakout from this consolidation zone that we've been in for the last 11 years, and, and I suspect it's going to continue uh, at least into the spring or summer of next year, um, <clears throat> the, when, when the breakout comes from this, it's, it's going to produce a massive, massive move, just like this produced a massive move from about $250 to almost uh, $2,000 during this strong bull phase. Uh, that is uh, almost a, a thousand percent increase. And I don't think it's at all unreasonable to expect something very similar this time around once, once we get past that eight-year cycle low. Uh, now, where is that eight-year cycle low going to come in at? If I had to take a guess, uh, well, first off, I, we're we're overdue for some kind of a counter trend rally. This this has been going down uh, strongly for for a long, long time. We, we're uh, we need some kind of a counter trend rally, um, something that I think has to at least get above eighteen hundred dollars. Maybe it can get uh, up to nineteen hundred dollars and test this prior peak right here. Um, there's even a slim possibility, I guess, that maybe we could come back up and test this 2000 zone before uh, rolling back over again and coming down. But but we're we're due for some kind of a counter turn rally, and I think we're going to get one here pretty quick. We may may have to make one more lower low here before we do, but but we're gonna have a counter trend rally uh, before we. Uh, start down and finish the move down into that eight-year cycle low. And if I had to guess, I would say maybe that um, eight-year cycle low comes in right here at this uh, pivot here at about, oh, let's just call it between 1500 and 1550 might be a reasonable target for the final uh, eight-year cycle low. Probably, like I said, sometime next spring or summer. That's when the CRB is going to be due for its three-year cycle low, and I expect, uh, I expect the eight-year cycle to shorten just a little bit in gold and uh, sync up with that three-year cycle low in the, in the CRB. All right, so um, that will set the stage for the next strong trending uh, secular move, similar to what we saw back here into that top in 2011. And a similar move, let's say we do get down to 1500 at that final um, eight year cycle low. If we get a thousand percent move, that would, that would project a price near $15,000 for gold, $15,000 an ounce for gold at the next um, secular bull market top. Um, and I would expect that top would come as a, as a bubble phase. <clears throat> this, this clearly was not. Uh, a bubble phase. It was a very strong trending phase, but it was not a bubble phase. I didn't see everybody buying uh, gold and silver like they were buying Bitcoin. 
and like they were buying housing, <clears throat> uh, real estate and, and tech stocks. I didn't see that kind of behavior at this top. So this was not the bubble top. That's still to come and it will come during this next eight year cycle low. So we are, we are setting the stage or, or the advancing phase of that next eight year cycle. So we are setting the stage for the next very strong trending phase, the one that will uh, take gold, you know, at least above $7,000, $100 silver. I'll say it again, is going to be a piece of cake during that uh, advancing phase of the next eight year cycle. And I don't think uh, 250 or even $500 is out of the question. We, when we get into that manic uh, buying, uh, you know, bubble mentality, uh, silver could, could easily go from a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars in a matter of six to eight weeks during uh, that final uh, bubble phase so you know control emotions look at the long-term charts here realize what is happening we're just we're in a consolidation phase during this period it still should have further to run we are due for a counter trend move though but it should still have further to run and then once that's over the next uh, advancing phase of the next eight year cycle should produce another one of these really strong trending phases like we saw from 2000 to 2011.